So you want to be a hacker, huh? You've mastered Python, brute-forced your way through Hack the Box, and you've got Kaylee Linux stickers on your water bottle. But why are you still getting roasted in CTF challenges? Today we're talking about the most overlooked skills that'll turn you from a script kitty into a legend. Number one, networking. Repeat after me. The OSI model is my friend. I know, I know. Subnetting feels like trying to date someone who's just not ready for a relationship. But guess what? If you can't tell the difference between TCP and UDP, you're basically trying to hack with a blindfold on. Imagine this. You're in a CTF and you find an open port. Is it HTTP, SSH, or is it just your router judging your life choices? Master networking and you'll spot vulnerabilities faster than your uncle spots conspiracy theories on Facebook. Number two, documentation. Documentation is like flossing. Everyone knows they should do it, but nobody does. Until you're in a pen test and you forget which exploit worked. Suddenly you're Googling how to time travel at 3 a.m. I once met a junior hacker who found a critical vulnerability but forgot to write down the steps. By the time he demoed it, the server had updated. His career? Well, just don't be that guy. Your notes don't need to be pretty. My first documentation looked like a ransom letter written by a squirrel. Number three, soft skills. Hackers have to talk to humans. I know I'm crying too, but if you can't explain a vulnerability to your client without sounding like a robot from 1982, you're gonna get fired faster than a VPN and a Netflix ban. My friend once told a CEO, your firewall is softer than a marshmallow in a microwave. He got kicked out. Don't be my friend. Soft skills don't mean you have to hug. Just don't threaten to pew in their mainframe in the first meeting. Number four, system administration. You want to hack systems? Then you gotta understand systems. Setting up a home lab isn't just for flexing on Reddit. It's like learning to cook before you open a restaurant. Otherwise, you're just burning down kitchens. I tried to hack an Active Directory once without knowing how it worked. And the only thing I hacked was my self-esteem. Sysadmins are the real hackers. They just use sudo instead of hydra. Number five, curiosity. Hackers aren't born with hoodies, they're born with questions. Why does this code work? Why does that server hate me? Why is my router judging my life choices? The best hacker I know spends hours reading random RFC documents. Is it boring? Yes. Does he find zero days while you're binge watching Netflix? Also, yes. Curiosity didn't kill the cat. It just gave it a $10,000 bug bounty. Number six, patience. Hacking is not a speed run. I know, you want to pop that shell faster than a TikTok trend dies. But if you're slamming enter like it owes you money, you're going to miss the subtle clues, like that one port that's begging to be exploited. Last week, I watched a buddy brute force a login for four hours, only to realize the password was password. Sometimes the answer isn't in your word list. It's in the client's crippling lack of creativity. If your exploit works on the first try, you're either a genius or you just DDoSed yourself. Number seven, attention to detail. Hackers aren't just code monkeys, we're detectives. That typo in the error message, that weird log entry from 3 a.m., that's the digital universe whispering, hey, I'm vulnerable, please don't tell anyone. I once found a SQL injection because the website's error page said LOL, nice try, instead of 404. True story, the devs were practically begging to get hacked. If you think grep is just a weird frog sound, this skill's for you. Number eight, understanding hardware. Newsflash, hackers don't live in the matrix. That router you're trying to pound, it's a physical thing. And if you don't know how reset buttons, firmware chips, or voltage glitching works, you're just a script kitty with a fancy laptop. My first hardware hack, I bricked a $2,000 server because I thought JTAG was an energy drink. Learn from my pain. Hardware hacking, where turning it off and on again is both the problem and the solution. Number nine, legal knowledge. Repeat after me. Ethical hacking is not a synonym for legal. Just because you can hack something doesn't mean you should. One wrong click and you're explaining to a judge why you thought hacking a McDonald's kiosk for free nuggets was a good idea. A friend scanned his school's network for fun and got expelled. Spoiler, schools don't think ethical curiosity is a valid excuse. If your hacking excuse starts with, but I saw it on YouTube, you're already doomed.